Welcome to another episode of I'm Dying to Tell You. This is Dr. Mark Goulston. Uh, I'm undergoing some treatment and I'm a little bit foggy, but uh, I had something I wanted to share with you and I hope I make enough sense to be uh, worth your time to watch and listen. I want to talk to you about how to make a good impression on audiences and maybe one-to-one. -one. Uh, th this comes after I... It was a coaching call I had with someone who was doing a, a presentation to a group. And he showed me his slides, and there was a cover slide. And then the second slide was about me and about our company. And something I suggested to him that he really liked and you might like is make the second slide, right after the cover slide, not about me, about you because often when you do presentations and you start off with about me about our company uh, even though that makes sense it kind of sets you up to the audience as here it comes <laughs> here comes the pitch here comes the whatever and, and what they're thinking subconsciously about is um uh, do you really get where we're coming from? Do you really get what matters to us? Because it seems like you want us to pay attention to you, and you have to earn the right by paying attention to us. And so if you make your slide, a second slide about you, what you might say, given the title of your talk, is you put yourself in the shoes of the audience, and maybe this is a presentation even to investors where you say, you know, before I tell you about me and about our company and about our startup, let me tell you something about you. And they're going to immediately wake up because they're going to be curious. You know, what do you know about us? And they're going to be curious because empathy is becoming in increasingly rare. So they can't imagine <laughs> that you got them right. But if you were to say, if I was giving a talk on listening, and I've given those talks, and I've started off, let me start out, not about me, but about you. If you came to this talk about listening, uh, I'm guessing that you came here because you could be a better listener. In truth, all of us could be better listeners. But I'm guessing that a number of you came here because not being a good listener has cost you cost you a deal, cost you a big deal, maybe cost you not being able to prevent uh, some kind of catastrophe or big crisis that you could have prevented if you'd listen. And maybe you're here because some of you had one of those and it was uh, a doozy, meaning afterwards you said, I can't do this again. I can't blow another deal. I can't have another crisis that I could have avoided. I think if you do that, and it's not that difficult to figure out what it's about. So for instance, if you're pitching to a group of investors, and again, often those investors have a certain hubris and think, you know, they, uh, uh, that you need them much more than they need you. And in reality, by the way, they need you more because they have money to invest. They don't want to sit on it. So if you were pitching to a group of investors and you had your deck, the famous pitch deck, you might think of making the second slide say about you. And again, they're going to have the same sort of arrogance and hubris because let's face it, investors are not the most empathic people in the world. So they're going to be curious if you got them right. And if I had a startup and I was pitching them, I might say, let me tell you about you. I'm guessing you came to this because you're looking for a unicorn. And the reason you're looking for a unicorn is because if you're like most investors, a lot of your investments haven't worked out. They sounded good. You invested in them and they didn't deliver. And I think 
why you're here is you're listening for and hoping to hear and see something that could make up for all the bad investments you had. And given that you're not the heads of your investment firm, I think you're listening for not only a unicorn, but that that uh, startup that you could run and not walk back to your boss and say, I think I just heard about something we need to get in soon and we need to get in big. Uh, because I think if you do that and if you deliver a unicorn to your boss, you know, the next time you get reviewed for your compensation, it's going to look pretty good. So I hope that was helpful. And I'd encourage you to try out starting uh, your first impression by focusing on what the people are listening for uh, before you rush into telling them all your yada, yada, yada about, uh, you know, what, you're, what you are, what your company does. So give that a try, and I hope you'll report it back. And I hope I wasn't too fuzzy. And thanks again for listening into this series. And so far, so good with my uh, my illness. Um, I think uh, we're going to buy me some time. So take good care.